Okay, if you have a Vitamix and you've been invited to a potluck, we have some really good ideas for you to bring. So the first thing always is our famous queso, cashew queso, it's all plant-based. It's so delicious. The one thing we learned is that it's always the first thing to go unless you put it in an unappetizing vessel, then no one eats it. That just happened to us. Um, so make sure it's in a kind of a small container that looks edible and delicious because it is. The next thing is muhammara. It's a Middle Eastern dish that is walnuts, pomegranate, red roasted red pepper. It's so, so good. It's kind of like next level of hummus, like just same flavor profile, but more delicious. That's muhammara. Um, another really good thing to bring to a potluck is French onion dip. Everyone loves French onion dip. We've got a great recipe that doesn't use any dairy on our site. Um, perfect for like summer potluck pit, pick, pick a nick, picnic. If you're going to a daytime potluck, maybe a brunch potluck, I wish my friends would plan one of those. That sounds really fun. Bloody Mary mix. Uh, you can make Bloody Mary mix in your Vitamix and it is very, very good, much better than anything that you could buy in a bottle at a store and it makes you look really fancy. Um, you can make our delicious artichoke dip. We are not allowed to go to family functions without bringing this anymore. It's so cheesy without having any cheese in it. Uh, it's hot. It's one of those appetizers that just like the plate is scraped clean and you're like, I didn't even get a bite of that. So we started making two and leaving one at home. That's the best way to go about the artichoke dip. Uh, salsa. My brother has an awesome recipe on our site for like a smoky tomatillo salsa that is way next level salsa. Make it, you'll see. It's very popular. And the last but not least, I used to always, always, always bring baked goods to potlucks because everyone loves baked goods. By far the one, well, two of them have gone fast. So my banana bread goes really fast. Uh, that's a really good one. But lately we've been making these triple ginger cookies. It's candy ginger, fresh grated ginger, and then like dried ginger, and then they have chocolate in them too. We brought them to my little niece's first birthday party and gone. So those are the things you should use your Vitamix for to make for a potluck if you have to bring something and you wanna be a potluck hero. They should have that be a song, Potluck Hero. If you like this video, definitely subscribe to our channel, hit that thumbs up, let us know what you bring to potlucks, and if you say a bag of chips, you're that guy. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.